Let's go on crew. We had a beautiful short here, guys and gals. All right, so we have two time frames we look at on the aero-based system, two time frames. We got a longer term and a shorter term, okay? They're based upon my Rinko bars. We don't use minute charts or tick charts or volume charts. Those aren't as accurate. I use a proprietary Simrinko bar that we have with the trend filter built into it. So here's a five Simrinko, okay? We use that on our longer term chart. Here this morning, we are, if you look on the short side setups, we want to look for sell arrows on a longer time frame. Here's our last sell right here that just happened a second ago. Notice what's very important with, more importantly on the shorter time frame, not as much as this time frame, but notice what's key on these two right here, actually these three. We had a full retracement. This is a first MA crossover retest for this trade. This is a full retracement. This tests test the market profile control point, the most volume that's traded. But this one had a full retracement. Not only did it was it cross down, MA cross down, I had a full retracement. When I talk about full retracement, I'm talking about retesting this magenta MA. We don't use moving averages per se for support and resistance. We use them for trend direction. And we use them for seeing where the full retracement is going to be. So on this template that we have made up for you, when it touches this magenta MA, we're at a full retracement. Look for the arrows of fire. So that's my longer term chart, right? That's my longer term chart, the five sim. Right next to it, I've got the three sim Rico. Now this is shorter time frame. You can't take all arrows on the shorter time frame. You can't do it. So what you want to do is you want to look definitely for full retracements on the shorter time frame. These are full retracements right here. Full retracement trades are great trades to take on the shorter time frame. The ones marked in red, you should not touch with the 10-foot pole. Because what these arrows are doing, they're looking at, they're looking at, these are trades over here too. This is a trade. They're looking at retracements based upon today's and yesterday's price action, every, every swing low, every swing high is calculating. Now here's, you wouldn't touch this one either over here on the short time frame. Now let me go this for you because you can really pick the markets apart if you do this on any market that you trade. The trades marked in red are no trades. You do not want to shake those trades. You want to filter those out because we're not in a full retracement. The trades marked in blue are qualified entries. Why? Because if I'm using a 3 sim, this is a 3 sim Rico, 3 sim right here, two days back, it's a smaller time frame. You're going to get a lot more swings in the market. So I don't want to take every single swing. I'm smarter than that. I'm more educated than that. I know small swings means more stop outs. So what I want to do is I want to cherry pick my trades. I'll cherry pick my arrows. So how I'm going to do it is I'll look for full retracements up to this magenta MA. Remember, we don't use MAs for crossover systems to buy and sell when they cross over or support resistance. I like to use them for retracement levels. I know I'm in a full retracement when it hits my longer term MA that I have pre-programmed. So every time you touch, we're in a downtrend already, but every time you touch that magenta MA, you're in a full retracement full retracement. This last sell right here was a full retracement, not only in my small time frame, but my large time frame. That was a beautiful confluence. Now look at that runner running. This is a nice little trade we got going now. That's a 6131 fill. We're all the way down almost to 61, almost a $300 trade in our hands with a six tick stop. So if you look, we want to stay away from these retracements on the smaller time frame for sure, away from if it's not touching the magenta MA, it can exceed it. It just can't, it can't be way below it. You want to stay away from the shorter time frame. Now watch. When you get the shorter time frame, the long time that groove together, see the short, the longer time frame and the short time frame, they fire together. That's just perfect alignment. And it was on my control point over here. That's the most volume that's traded in my price profile. I mean, that's just, Thanks for coming to work. And my negative market delta fired right here. So 
So once you get an arrow that negative market donor fire, look at your negative market donor right there. That means there's an order balance. There's a sell and balance. Market delta is a relationship between the bid and the ask, this bottom chart. There's a sell and balance right at the key full retracement. That tells you that is your sign to go short. Open the next bar, two ticks above the swing high. We got a beautiful trade rolling here on gold. I mean crude and gold too. Gold work great too. So if I would take my short time frame and I would adjust to trade short time frame trades, it's good at three o'clock in the morning. I'm one, two, three, four, five, I'm six for six. However, if I do not take, if I take every trade without the full retracements, I'm one, two, three, four, I'm six for four. Big difference, right? So there's a big difference from being a wash trader with the arrows and being a very profitable trader looking for full retracements. And this happens, I don't care when you get the software and you lease the program, test it back a whole one year, two years, go back as three years, as long as you want. It's the same exact setup. When you come into a full retracement, you're looking for a big move, especially if you're with trend direction. So I want you to avoid the on the three sim, the smaller retracements. I want you to avoid the arrows of fire way away from our longer term MA. Try to get in the ones with four retracements. Six for six today. It just shows you. And that's a small time frame. That's firing a lot of small swings. Right? Now the longer time frame, it won't fire too many. But they were all four retracements. All these were four retracements this morning. Four retracement, four retracement, three for three right there. So your accuracy can be uncanny with the system, but you must know how to qualify the trades. Now, the beautiful thing about having a market profile is that look how these arrows married up. This is ultimate alignment. This is your ultimate setup you're going to get. I keep telling traders this has been working for 30, going on 33 years. 33 years, this market profile. I keep telling traders the big, thick red, thick blue, thick green line are the most important. That's volume coming in the market. It's actually volume. These lines are predicated on the volume coming in the market. So if I'm in a downtrend, you see a lot of trades off this blue control point. You see a ton of them. And off this green level and off this red level. So if I retest, I'm in a downtrend, which I am, the trend filter's down. If I retest blue and look at the price profile gave you confluence, and I get a full retracement on my smaller time frame or my bigger time frame, this is the ultimate setup. Because this sets up support and resistance with the volume coming in the market, my market profile. My arrows show me the sweet spot area on a full retracement. And then I got my market delta to the bottom right to say, hey, okay, now I'm at a full retracement. I want negative market delta to fire off, which has been read all the way down, all sell signals. Give me a red market delta, and let's see, let's see this thing get cranking to the downside. This is a complete trading system. It's very systematic. Here's your resistance. Here's your area with the arrows. Here's your entry with negative market delta. Now, what I have for you guys and gals, which I'm doing, is I have a program that I have written to only show really large retracements. Now, this is the S&P, last S&P. So the last S&P trade, if I look at it, same thing. This is a longer, this is a, uh, this is based upon full, uh, longer term uh, pro profiles, not profiles, but arrows. Same thing, this is a 34 almost down to, this is almost a 10 point short. But the same thing on the upside, what this program is going to try to do, is going to try to get you in deep retracement. So here's yesterday's move to the upside. We had so many signals on the upside yesterday. Let me blow this up. There we go. There's our sell signals and buy signals from yesterday. Look what it tries to do. It tries to get you on the S&P yesterday. Full retracement, full retracement, full retracement, full retracement. Full retracement, full retracement, full retracement, full retracement. These arrows fire, they're not lagging right when the bar closes. This is a program I'm getting out to all the traders at least. And you can have an audible alert to fire you in the trade. Some of these trades are huge. I mean, this was a 90, I mean, a 2700. That was a 26 point S&P trade into the close at 11 o'clock, right into 2 o'clock. A three hour trade. And you got yourself a 20, 25 point S&P trade. And you can see a lot of trades like this because I'm getting full retracement. So 
I'll be getting this out to you with Market Analyzer that analyzes the market for you. But it's the same concept right now, what we have right now, is you're looking for full retracements. You're looking for these full retracements up into with arrows that fire. These arrows should fire if you're at a full retracement with the with the I'm sorry these arrows you want to take the arrows that fire into a full retracement so don't make it difficult when you first log in these trades are very simplified it doesn't take the smartest bear in the woods to realize if I'm telling you to stay away from shallow retracements you shouldn't be pulling trigger at these red levels if you do nothing personal you deserve to get stopped out by a trader that's not taking those trades because they are more patient and disciplined than you are and that's going to allow them to get the ticks instead of you because you're being impatient with the retracement you have got to be patient and disciplined with a system like this you got to wait for the full retracement you can see exactly where they're at I mean that the, the heads up you get on this last one you had about a 15 minute heads up before the retracement it's not like this is the you're flying by the seat of your pants buy sell buy sell buy sell this is very calculated retracements. You know this is a calculated retracement. Calculated. This took 20 minutes. This took time. So they all take time to retrace. But try to stay away if you can. Discipline yourself. Be hard on yourself. Stay away from shallow retracements on the small time frame away from the Magenta MA. If it's larger time frame, you can get away with it. You can get away with these trades on the larger time frame if you match up with market profile. Shorter time frame, I look for full retracements. All right, you do that, you're going to see some very, very, very nice swings in the market. Okay, so let's reiterate. Market profile gives support and resistance. The arrows give us the area. Definitely if you're using a 3 sim ratio, look for full retracement. Negative market delta down here. When you sell, wait for the bar to close. Negative market delta. Fire in the trade at the next bar. Stop is two ticks above the swing high. And look at that nice crude trade again. Just like yesterday, we were done before 9.30 yesterday. Just like Wednesday, done before 9.30 Wednesday. Why? Because we know what we're doing. We're looking for full retracements of the overall trend direction. 